there may be some people that are not familiar with the quality pillar. So just to give you just a very quick overview, um, it is the goal is to create really innovative programs to promote uh, really kind of the ideas and the development of young fellows specifically related to quality. And it's comprised by nine different subgroups across the college where we have uh, YFA liaison positions. So that can be things like, for example, the Board of Governor uh, Best Practices Work Group, to the Committee on Trauma, to the Commission on Cancer, and of course, like the, the DROPSI, or otherwise known as the Division of Research and Optimal Patient Care. And those different nine subgroups really kind of comprise this, this quality uh, committee. Now, that doesn't mean that individuals outside of this cannot participate, and you'll hear in a second about uh, an example of how one person is. Um, we've really had a couple of different um, main kind of areas of focus. The first is um, Dr. Ko had really wanted to ensure that within the ACS Quality and Safety Conference, we were um, engaging young fellows into um, that conference and making them, you know, part of, you know, the entire production that happens on an annual basis. And so that meant like, you know, selecting different speakers for panels, having uh, folks moderate sessions, having them discuss papers. And they have done a tremendous job in really integrating us uh, as much as we want to be integrated. And so something to keep in the back of your mind as you know, next year's conference comes up is if you want to you know, play a role in that meeting, um, we're happy to uh, help find you one. And that's been going really just, it's just been a tremendous uh, collaboration and I know they want to ramp that up even more. The other piece, which is something that Amelie and I had worked on, uh, it's been like honestly in the works over a year now, uh, is something called the Future Quality Leaders uh, uh, Program. And just briefly, because I know we're short on time, the objective of that program is really um, to develop a Future Quality Leaders uh, Scholars Program to engage young fellows of the ACS who have an interest in leading process improvement in surgery, whether it's at the local and state level or whether it's at the national level. And the program really, um, had a number of different like core values, but it's based on those core values of the college and focuses on really establishing a foundation and skill set for training the next generation of leaders within surgical quality. We had, we put together a proposal. We had a couple great meetings with Cliff and folks from the DC office. And uh, there was a lot of stuff that was in the works. And of course, COVID happened and really derailed a lot of the things. Um, so you remember, I was telling you just a second ago that it's not just the individuals on this, like, you know, working group of nine, so to speak, that can participate. So one example is Dr. Robin Richmond uh, from Texas, who happens to also be a trauma surgeon and reached out and was interested in, uh, you know, working on something within quality. And so she's going to help us um, spearhead this uh, project and continue this kind of down, uh, you know, the path, so to speak. So that's just one example. We're really excited about this. It's very complex and requires um, a lot of engagement at all levels, including at the level of the executive director. And so it's something that doesn't happen overnight, but we're hopeful that we can execute it. And then the last thing I'll just say is that um, we are like always welcome to have like the thoughts and ideas that all of you have. And if we can bring in and capture those different ideas, we're happy to help you execute them. We don't have to be in charge of them. We wanna be able to facilitate some of these complex challenges that you all face. Um, I'll leave my email in the chat. You can feel free to email me directly uh, if you have questions or if you have thoughts, but really look forward to continuing to engage with all of you. And, and thanks for those that have, have already been engaged and have really made this an enjoyable experience.